a 55 gallon drum of depleted uranium-232 has been found at a Florida airport, the Opelaka Executive Airport. This drum was found unsealed and sitting feet away from a plane that was to be decommissioned and destroyed. Now the fact of the matter that this was depleted uranium, the officials are saying that this posed no significant threat. Not true. Although depleted uranium is used as ballast in heavy aircraft, it is kept in a containment vessel, a shielded containment vessel within the aircraft. This was found in a 55-gallon unsealed drum sitting out in the middle of the airport, unsecured, emitting radiation. The fact of the matter is that this was an epic fail on the part of the NSA, the TSA, all the alphabet agencies set up to detect radiation tracking and movement within and without of the country. There was no excuse for this. All radiation emits a signature that these agencies can track and identify it back to its source. This was not only not tracked evidently, it wasn't even discovered until a fire unit from that airport went out to inspect the plane that was being decommissioned. U-238 is a weapons grade radiological material. What do we know? A gallon of liquid or a gallon of material weighs approximately 8.6 pounds. What was sitting at this airport was in effect a three to 450 pound dirty bomb that if exposed to fire or an explosive device would have atomized that depleted uranium into the atmosphere covering a disbursement area of miles. And if there's any question as to what depletum, depleted uranium effect is on humans, well, let's just look at this. Here's what SOT.net says. There's an alarming rise in birth defects that include cancer, leukemia, and a horrific rise in child mortality since the U.S. demolished the city in uh, Fallujah in 2004. And here's some of the radiological effects of what the press is claiming to be harmless, depleted uranium material. And here's some more. These are all photos of children born in Fallujah and in the Middle East where they're using weapons grade depleted uranium in the area. Any questions? Please share this video. Thank you.